Data Marking and Classification Improvements This video demonstrates how to perform sensitive element redaction preview and model transformation, display containment markings on project elements, add data markings recursively, and create custom project disclaimers. Once you have the data markings defined and applied in your project, you can transform the model to a less sensitive one by removing elements with selected data markings. Before performing the transformation, you can preview what elements would be removed and see what the model would look like post-transformation. To do that, in the main toolbar, select the data marking you want to remove from the model. Elements with the selected data marking and the data markings of a higher sensitivity level within the same category are highlighted in red. If you are satisfied with your selection, you can proceed with the model transformation. To do that, open the Model Transformation Wizard and select Sensitive Element Redaction. Specify both the transformation scope and the data markings added to the elements that will be removed from the model. Additionally, you can remove all data markings from the model while keeping the elements. Once the transformation is finished, commit the project to a different branch or save it as a separate project so you do not overwrite the original one. Next, let's take a look at containment markings. They are displayed on the parent element, indicating the owned element's data markings. Right-click an element, and in the Containment Markings subsection of the Data Markings and Classification menu, select the Update action to display containment markings on the selected element, or the Update Recursively action to display containment markings on all owned elements. The containment markings are displayed in parentheses as postfixes next to the element name. The element types that can have containment markings displayed on them must be specified in the project options. A dedicated validation rule is triggered if the displayed containment markings are outdated and no longer represent the owned element's markings. In addition to adding data markings to elements individually, you can now add selected data markings recursively to multiple project elements via their parent element. To do that, make sure to specify the element types that must have data markings added to them via Project Options. Right-click an element, and in the Data Markings subsection of the Data Markings and Classification menu, select the Add Recursively action. If an element already had data markings before executing the Add Recursively action, both the new and the prior data markings are added. Lastly. You can now create custom project disclaimers to inform other project users that this model requires special access and should not be opened by regular employees. To do that, create a class and apply the Disclaimer Configuration Stereotype. Then, specify the disclaimer text via the text tag value. You can create multiple values to be displayed in the disclaimer Save and reopen the project to see the disclaimer. Click Continue once all the disclaimers have been read, as the project can only then be opened. Otherwise, click Cancel to close the project. This concludes our video on data markings. For more information, please visit our website at the link below.